Derby County finished 2023 on a high, with eight wins out of nine. They come into the new year as the form side in League One. An early test sees fellow promotion contenders, Peterborough United, visit Pride Park. The Stubbish Town winner sees the Rams fall to their first league defeat in over two months. Five days later, it's off to the seaside. Fleetwood Town struggling, but under new management. Derby out to deny Charlie Adam their first winning charge. Collins battling with Earl Matt. no idea where that has gone. Bird's touch, can Mendes Lang get onto it? Here's Derby's chance. It's Nathaniel Mendes Lang. Fired in, headed on, headed in. It's James Collins, Derby's top scorer. On target yet again. Ball is intercepted. Why do? Rooney with the cross. Stockley with the header. It's a really good one. And Fleetwood are right back in this. Here's Bird. Right to the challenge from Dolan. Bird into the area. Ball wide. Pull back to Barkhazen. That'll seal it. Tom Barkhazen off the bench to score in front of the travelling Derby supporters. The Rams restore that two-goal lead and everyone could breathe a little easier now. I'm Jack Pryor. I'm a pest control technician in Falconer for all pest free solutions. So I've got Mason. He is a 11-year-old male Harris Hawk. We come here once a week to carry out a falcon revisit, a two-hour flight to um, help deter pest birds. Um, it's a, a natural way of doing it by creating a presence, um, making it an undesirable place for pest birds to take up residence. It's a very eco-friendly, natural way to do it. Very rarely do we have any conflict. It's all about creating a natural presence um, and making it a really bad place to want to, uh, to want to live. Feral pigeons and seagulls predominantly. Um, they can be used for types of corvids, magpies, crows, but predominantly feral pigeons and um, seagulls during the summertime. We cover a variety of sports stadiums, hospitals, schools, warehouses and factories, so uh, a, wide array of, um, a wide array of sites. We've flown here at Pride Park for around four or five years. Um, my understanding back when we first started, there was a few issues with uh, a pigeon population. And as we've seen today, we've um, seen absolutely nothing, but keeping, keeping weekly flights is, uh, is key. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. So it started off as a hobby for me. Um, I got into pest control and then just combined the two together. Um, and honestly, when, when he behaves himself, it's a brilliant job. It's great. The weight management's absolutely uh, key with flying a bird of prey well so uh, on a good day he'll weigh one pound eight ounces is just a slither under today but if a bird of prey is too heavy they've got no interest in coming back to us the only reason they come to us is for food if they don't need food they don't want to know so maintaining good weight management is is a huge part of the skill that we have to do Harris Hawks, if you look after them properly, they can live sort of, you know, 20, mid 20. So he's, he's got a few more years in him yet. Um, but when it comes to a point that we perhaps see him slowing up a little bit and it might be worth, you know, putting him away and letting him put his wings down. But for the here and now, for definite, he's still, he's still gunning for it. While the men bowed out of the FA Cup at the first round stage, Derby County women's efforts 
that see me through to the third round. Their reward is a home tie and a real test against WSL side, Leicester City. The journey ends there for Sam Griffith's side. What an occasion for the U's. January also saw the men knocked out of a cup competition. The Rams running the Bristol Street Motors Trophy comes to an end at the feet of League Two's Bradford City. Side then, nice and close to your face. That's it. And the other side. <laughs> that's, the, that's the one. <laughs> but the league is the priority, as December's manager of the month knows all too well.
After the drama of Burton, it's time to hit the road. First, a visit to Lincoln. Did we forget to mention the transfer window? Paul Warren has wanted Corey Blackett Taylor for a while. And now he's finally got his man. And, just look up. and he's not the only new face. Midfielder Ibu Adams will spend the rest of the season with the Rams too. I'm just happy to be on board and like I believe in the project for the next 12, 18 months. And I feel like this will be the place for me to not only have a chance to play in the higher league, but to develop as a player as well. So straight away when you came, you come in, you just see how big the place is. Like I just heard that there was like 17 pitches and seeing like the, all the facilities and that. So I think it's somewhere that I'm definitely going to enjoy to to be every day. Big <laughs> smile. I feel so happy. I feel, um, I can't stop smiling actually. I'm happy and get excited to get going. Spoke to two people, Curtis Nelson and, and uh, Kane Wilson. They're, bit, they're the top of my uh, call list at the minute. But now them two have been really good. They told me about the club and how amazing it is and how I'll be, I'll be suited to fit in. And the boys will be welcome and it'll probably suit me down to a T. So. I don't know how I can do it, but I'm taking a couple of turns. <laughs> <laughs> I will bring energy. Uh, I just can't stop smiling because I'm excited to be here. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a, uh, I love to be around. I've got so much energy. I love to get in the box to try to score some goals. And I love just winning tackles. I just love being everywhere around the pitch. And hopefully the fans will see that and I can sh display that as towards the season. Hopefully it'll be uh, profitable. <laughs> Like if you can't control the game the way you want, and we knew that Reading were one of the, the second best team in the league for pressing, they come after you, they're a young team, athletic team, so you've just got to match their intensity, and I don't think we match their intensity enough tonight to uh, come out on top. Welcome, thank you again for uh, taking the time out of your diaries to come this morning. Rather than giving everybody a bit of a... Derby County isn't just at the heart of the football community in Derby. Is at the we'll centre of the city's business so community too. Organisations from across the area at Pride Park this morning progress. for marketing Derby's bondholder breakfast. If the lads lose on a Saturday, it's a disaster. But football clubs are more than that. They are more than that. And unfortunately for us, and this is the case, there's 23 other clubs trying to win every Saturday as well. So look, we'll do everything we can to try and win. Obviously we do. We have to, you know, uh, work really hard and if the team win, we look like we've done a good job and if they lose, we look like we've done a bad job, although we've done the same job. Anthony, a very special day for you. You've been doing this for a long time, 59 years, I think, Nine selling yeah. programmes. Yeah, that's a long while. Take me back to the start. When did you start? Why did you start? Um, well, two or three of us lived by the baseball ground in Chasby Crescent and um, wanted to see the match. 
So we did it in the evenings when there was a night match just to get a free seat and then eventually progressed to doing it every match, weekends and night matches. Um, and the rest is history, just carried on doing it, enjoyed it, you got a free ticket, you got, you got some commission for selling programmes and um, um, but I've enjoyed the fans, the customers and it's one big family to me really. But now as I say, uh, aches and pains, arthritis creeping in, it's time for me to put my boots up so to say. Pride Park is facelift. The under-21s are in Loughborough. It's an East Midlands derby for the young Rams. Nathaniel Mendes Lang hasn't just been one of Derby's star players so far this season, he's been one of the standout performers in the entire division. He can even be a match winner on one leg, as Charlton Athletic found out the hard way.
saw Derby needed from that today. Derby welcomed Shrewsbury to Pride Park today. But this lot are here early. They're the stars of the club's season ticket campaign. Hopefully they'll have more to smile about soon. There's lag met by Bird! Oh, that's lovely from Derby! Benning found the gap. Can he pick someone out? He can! Shrewsbury have equalised. Varkazen's cross. It was Curtis Nelson with his head in his hands at the back post. A late goal denies Dobby another victory. But the schedule means they don't have to wait too long to get that out of the system. Exeter, the lucky opposition on this night. Mark LGBT History Month. There's a new team training at Moor Farm. Pride Park Pride set up by the Community Trust are running football and social sessions for the members of the LGBTQ plus community. Because football truly is for everyone. Oh, 
Robin, you've got your code, I'll bring it for you. I'll bring it to you. That's all right. Football is for everybody. Football sometimes can have its cultural problems that we all know about. So it's really important to back campaigns, you know, things like football versus homophobia and sessions like this that, you know, can really make a difference to challenge discrimination and stereotypes within the game. Unfortunately, homophobia and transphobia still exists in football, so not everyone can put their football boots on and go and play a football session. These sessions allow that to happen for anyone. The EFL is showing their support with the new rainbow ball, used for the first time by Derby at Pride Park for the visit of Stevenage. Defeat at the Lamex back in October was arguably the lowest point of the Rams season. There's a score to be settled here.